I'm starting off with a plastic corrugated board. Now I'm making marks that with 1.5 inches apart before I then draw a straight line and then cut them out with a pair of scissors. These were kind of long, so I'm going to cut them to the height of the side table. I then took a piece of cardboard and traced out one of the strips on it. And with this, I'm going to draw a slight curve. Now I'm going to trace that curve on all the strips. I got dowels from Walmart that I'll also be using for this project. I cut them all into two and then attached them to this floral ring that I got from Michael's craft store. I'm marking down the points where the dowels will be. I'll be using half inch screws for this and before I attach the screws I will pre-drill holes all around the floral ring and this is going to make it much easier for me to attach the dowels to the floral ring. I'm putting the screws just halfway before I then put in the dowels. The first few dowels were attached like this because I needed the wall to serve as a support. Later, I turned it over and continued the rest. Because my cutting was not so accurate, some of the dowels were shorter than the rest. So I cut little pieces of canvas panels and glued them there. Considering the way I was attaching the dowels to the floral ring, it was not really convenient. So some of the dowels were loose. So now that I have it like this, I can tighten it. Now that they're secured tightly, I'll be adding the embroidery hoop. Now 
Now that I have them all in place, I'm going to be gluing them together with a strong adhesive and leaving it for some hours to dry. Because I don't have a strong metal that's curved, this is the route that I took. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the pieces that I had cut from the plastic board. The next step will be to glue these pieces to the dolls. I'll be using a strong adhesive and a HUD glue gun. And the strong adhesive I'm using, because that's what I have, is a new 6000 glue. This is what it looks like when I was done. And remember that what I used for the outer shape here is plastic and not paper. I'm going to take this out and then use this black spray paint on the inside. And then use the silver spray paint on the outside. This is how it looks. And it doesn't look so appealing to the eyes, but I'm still working on it. The idea was to have a little bit of silver on the outside because I'm going to be using gems. So I don't want it to be covered totally with the black that's on the inside. So at this stage here, I'm going to be adding gems that I got from Party City. And these gems are 466 pieces in a pack. And I'll be taking these pieces and gluing them one by one till I fill up all of the strips that I have on my side table. Because I'm using the corrugated plastic board, it has holes, so I'm using the pointy sides of the gems and putting the glue there and pressing it firmly inside the holes. It was taking a lot of time doing one strip after the other, so I decided to just do two strips at once. Putting these gems one by one was the only thing in this project that was so time consuming. So I'll recommend watching a good TV show while doing this. So out of 466 gems that was in the pack, just three was left. And this is what it looks like. I went around again carefully with an E6000 glue to give it a firm hold. I ended up painting the inside black and leaving just a little bit of the outside that's close to the gem silver. The top will be painted black as well. I'm using black as the main color for the side table, but you can use any other color of your choice. Mm -hmm. 
When I was done, I kept it aside and then used this wooden plaque that I got from Michael's craft store for the top of the table. When I was done, I let it dry and then I attached it. You can leave it like this or you can add a mirror on top of it. This is a simple yet elegant side table that I've recreated and I love the look. I noticed that my base was looking a little bit wider because the embroidery hoop was put inside. So if you're making yours, let the embroidery hoop be outside. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.